Butterfly Life Cycle by Jeff Bauer. Chapter 1, All About Butterflies. Look, it's a butterfly. This book will tell you about the lives of these beautiful bugs. Butterflies are insects. They have six legs, just like ants, grasshoppers, and ladybugs. Butterfly Parts Butterflies have four wings. Each wing is covered with thousands of tiny scales. The scales give butterfly wings their bright colors. Butterflies drink their meals through a thin tube called a proboscis. Their favorite meal is nectar, which they suck up from flowers. Close up, the scales of a wing look like this close up. A proboscis looks like this close up. There are 17,500 kinds of butterflies. How do you think the ones here got their names? Tiger butterfly, 89 butterfly, owl butterfly, peacock butterfly, emerald butterfly, zebra, swallowtail butterfly, and glasswing butterfly. Butterflies come in all different colors. Some have spots, some have stripes. Some seem like they have painted wings. But butterflies do not begin their lives looking this way. Let's take a peek at the life cycle of a monarch to see how they grow and change. Chapter 2. Egg to Caterpillar A female monarch lays an egg on a leaf. The egg is tiny. One egg is about the size of the period at the end of this sentence. Fast fact. Some butterflies lay more than a thousand eggs during their lives. Newborn caterpillars look like this. After a few days, the egg hatches. Out wiggles a hungry caterpillar. First, the caterpillar eats its own eggshell. Then it starts munching leaves. Crunch, crunch, crunch. The caterpillar keeps eating and growing and changing. It starts out small and white, but soon it becomes long and covered with colorful stripes. Monarch caterpillars only eat milkweed plants. After about two weeks, the caterpillar takes a rest. It attaches to a twig or leaf and hangs upside down. Something amazing is about to happen. Fast fact, monarch caterpillars have 16 little legs. Chapter 3 Chrysalis to Butterfly The caterpillar becomes a wrapped-up package called a chrysalis. Inside the package, exciting changes are taking place. The chrysalis turns from green to clear. Presto, changeo. The caterpillar has become a butterfly. Fast fact, a chrysalis protects a caterpillar as it changes into a butterfly. Guess what happens next? The butterfly breaks out of the chrysalis. Then it unfolds its wings, which are soft and damp. The brand new butterfly waits in the sun for its wings to dry. Then, flutter, flutter, away it flies. Fast fact, monarchs flap their wings 5 to 12 times a second. Life Cycle Review Do you remember the four main steps in a monarch butterfly's life cycle? Take a look. The life cycle of a monarch butterfly lasts for about one month. All Grown Up Chapter 4 Monarchs travel in big groups called flocks. In fall, monarch butterflies do what birds do. They fly south for the winter. This is called migration. 
Some monarchs go to California and some go to Mexico. Along the way, they rest in trees. This map shows where monarchs migrate. Some travel 3,000 miles. In early spring, the monarchs fly back north. A female lays an egg on a leaf. Then the butterfly life cycle will begin all over again. Fast fact, monarchs are poisonous to birds and other animals. Their bright wings say, don't eat me. In the warmer months of spring and summer, butterflies flutter about. These beautiful insects carry pollen from flower to flower, just like bees. But did you know that this is just one stage of a butterfly's incredible life cycle? A butterfly begins its life as a tiny egg. Some eggs are round, some are oval, and some have ridges. The female butterfly sticks her eggs onto leaves or stems very close together. This plant will soon become food. Inside the butterfly eggs, new life is growing, but these creatures are not yet butterflies. After a few days, the eggs hatch and butterfly larvae appear. Butterfly larvae are also known as pupa or caterpillars. At first, they look like small wriggling worms. A caterpillar's job is to eat. Most caterpillars eat plants, but some eat other insects. They eat so much that soon their skin becomes too tight. It splits and underneath is a new, bigger skin. As the caterpillar grows, this happens again and again. Caterpillars have many enemies. They are gobbled up by birds, wasps, and ladybugs. In some countries, humans eat them too. Caterpillars use bristles, spikes, smells, and poison to frighten away enemies. Sometimes they disguise themselves with eye spots and patterns. This caterpillar is pretending to be a snake. When the caterpillar has finished growing, it hangs upside down from a leaf or branch. Very slowly, a shell forms around it. This shell is called a chrysalis. Like the caterpillar, the chrysalis is patterned. This makes it difficult for enemies to spot. Inside the chrysalis, something amazing happens. The caterpillar dissolves into a soupy mixture. Then eyes, legs, wings, antenna, and other body parts begin to form. After a week or two, the caterpillar will have changed into a brand new butterfly. At last, the adult butterfly pushes its way out of the chrysalis. This splits open and the butterfly appears. It's a tight fit inside the chrysalis, so the butterfly must first unfold soft wings, which will take a few hours to harden. Then it flies for the very first time. A butterfly has four wings. These are covered with millions of tiny colored scales, which create different patterns. Some wing patterns allow butterflies to hide. Others have special markings that look like pig eyes to scare away enemies. Bold, bright colors attract mates. A butterfly tastes with its feet and smells with its antenna. Its mouth is shaped like a long tube. The butterfly uses this to feed on nectar from flowers. Butterflies can only fly if they are warm. When it is too cold, they bask in the sun until their temperature rises. Some species of butterfly, like the monarch, live for a few months, but most live for just one or two weeks. During their short lives, butterflies mate. When the female butterfly lays eggs, the life cycle starts all over again. Did you know that butterflies are in danger? Pesticides cause them harm, and there are fewer wildlife areas for them to visit. Soon, many species will come become extinct. You can help by planting flowers such as Bodleia, Verbena, and Lavender in a sunny, sheltered spot. Then wait for butterflies to appear. A butterfly's life cycle has four different stages. These are egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, and adult butterfly. 
During its life, the butterfly transforms completely. Oh my, oh my, a butterfly. All about butterflies. I'm the cat in the hat. If you look in the sky, you might see a butterfly fluttering by. They are colorful insects whose lives you will see are very exciting. Come on, follow me. Right here in our yard, if you look, you might spot a butterfly egg. It's a little round dot. It sticks to a leaf. Rain won't wash it away. Right here on this leaf is where it wants to stay. You may think in these eggs there are small butterflies, but wait till they hatch and you'll get a surprise. Caterpillars hatch out of a butterfly's eggs. They look like small worms and they have 16 legs. They start chewing and growing and growing and chewing and that's about all that they spend their time doing. They eat first their eggshells, then it's leaves that they need. They eat all the time and they grow with great speed. If we grew as fast as they do, this was funny to us. In two weeks, we each would be as big as a bus. This caterpillar has grown too big for its skin. It needs bigger skin than the skin it's been in. So it takes a deep breath then it wobbles and wiggles. Its skin starts to split as it joggles and jiggles. The old skin falls off and right there underneath is new, bigger skin that's been hiding beneath. It eats the old skin. Oh yum, how delicious. Protein in the skin makes it very nutritious. See this caterpillar? He really looks cute dressed up in his new black and white orange striped suit. After the fourth time it sheds all its skin, the next stage of a butterfly's life will begin. It hangs upside down like a small letter J, and for a few hours it hangs there that way. Then it changes again. The next stage is this. A shell forms around it called a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar keeps changing. All of its body parts are rearranging. For almost 10 days, it can't move and can't eat. Then one day, the butterfly's change is complete. A tiny black leg begins to poke through Within seconds, another leg pops into view. She bursts into the air, a bright new butterfly. Her wings are so soft that at first she can't fly. She must wait till they harden. Till then, she must stay. If an enemy comes, she cannot fly away. Her antennae start working to sense what's around her. The motions, the smells, and the sights that surround her. In hours, her new wings get harder, and so she is ready to fly. She is ready to go. See those two caterpillars? They're different. Here's why. One will soon be a moth, one a bright butterfly. One makes a chrysalis, and now we know inside it's a butterfly's starting to grow. One spins a cocoon like a blanket to hide it, and then a new moth begins growing inside it. Spiders, frogs, beetles, birds, lizards, and mice 
think bright butterflies for a snack are quite nice. Every butterfly knows birds are trying to catch it. Its wobbly flight makes it harder to snatch it. This butterfly's colors warn foes it might meet. I am poison. I'll hurt you. I'm not good to eat. Some cover their bright wings with dark wings, you see. This helps them to blend with the leaves on the tree. Butterflies are so light. This will show you how many you will need just to equal the weight of a penny. They see thousands of pictures. If one looked at me, here is a drawing of what it would see. With this tube, the proboscis of butterflies draws nectar from flowers like we drink from straws. We have a new hobby we just started trying. It's fun and it's free and it's called butterflying. We look to find butterflies. They're everywhere. In our yard, near a stream, on the ground, in the air. We write down the day and the time that we saw them. We write down the place, then take crayons and draw them. When you find butterflies, there are ways you can see by the size, shape, and color what kind they might be. Butterflies get their names from all different things. Swallowtail butterflies have long tails on their wings. Here is a lace wing. Its la wings look like lace. This owl butterfly looks like a baby owl's face. Which one is the smallest? It's this pygmy blue. A bird wing is largest. It's beautiful too. These are the monarchs. Just watch them in flight. They have orange and black wings with small dots of white. They can't live in cold weather, so somehow they know they must fly where it's warmer, like to Mexico. They fly hundreds of miles. They fly, fly hours and hours. They stop just to rest and sip nectar from flowers. Monarchs hide in a storm when the thunder is crashing. They know they're in danger when lightning is flashing. How do these butterflies know where they're going? Scientists really have no way of knowing. Butterflies can be tagged to show where they're from. This way we can learn how far they have come. This one is from Maine, and I think this is cool. It was tagged by the kids at an elementary school. Monarchs fly for weeks till they finally see in the Mexican forest an oil melt tree. They fly to the tree and then just before dark they land and they hook their small legs in the bark. Without the sun's warmth, they are too cold for flight, so they huddle together to wait out the night. Blow gently onto a cold butterfly, and you'll help it warm up so it's able to fly. In the spring, when it's warm, monarchs lift off from the trees, they flutter and swoop and they dance in the breeze. Now that it's warmer, these butterflies know they must mate and lay eggs so new babies can grow. Males look for females to mate with, it's true, that have colors and markings that look like theirs do. Once a female has mated, it's hard to go on. She will not live much longer.
her time's almost gone. She is carrying eggs. They are heavy. That's why she cannot get back home. It is too far to fly. So she searches for leaves and lays eggs one by one. She lays hundreds of eggs and won't stop till she's done. Butterflies are surprising and beautiful things as they soar through the air on their bright colored wings. They're like jewels in the sun. They live just a short while, but whenever you see one, you can't help but smile. For you know on a leaf, if you look, you may find an egg that a butterfly just left behind. And in this egg, small as the head of a pin, a new butterfly life is about to begin.